Hi viewers and welcome to the channel and welcome to a new feature to my channel. This is emergency tips for open source software. So I work in the imaging and photography industry and I see a lot of people using open source software and also they seem to struggle with certain aspects, especially when they're coming from mainstream programs to open source. Now, one of the things that I want to cover today, which I've seen people struggle with is creating an outline with GIMP. So outlining your text, it is quite easy to do. There is a number of ways to doing it, and I've seen people go down some very peculiar routes in doing this. I'm going to show you a really simple way of actually creating an outline with GIMP. So I hope you like this new feature, and let's have a look at the technique. If you like this video, please hit a like, and also subscribe to the channel. I also have a Ko-Fi site where you can actually donate to my contributions to the community, and that's at ko-fi.com slash mang0. So I'm in GIMP at the moment, I've got it all loaded up and I'm going to create a new document. I'm just going to OK that. So we've got a white background and we're going to use black text on here for this demonstration. I'm going to click the text tool. We'll come up to tools, text, and that will give me a cursor that I can add text to. We've got our font settings that we can set on the left hand side or we can do this afterwards if we so desire. So we can set them first or change them afterwards. So I'm just going to click and add my text. So I'm going to put the words in here, stroke text. And I'm just going to highlight this all by pressing the right and left arrows, holding our shift and pressing the left arrow, or we can use control A to select all. And I'm just going to change this text. So I want this as sans serif bold, and I'm going to bring the text up. We can change the color if we so desire and a bit further. So this is the text that I want to stroke or add an outline to. Notice the clipping area is clipped to surround that text. That will adjust when we add the stroke around that text. To do this, we may, can make use of a number of different ways. There's a number of different ways to stroke text in GIMP. The easiest way is to come up to filters, light and shadow, and believe it or not, use the drop shadow. And this will bring a drop shadow window up and we can alter the drop shadow in here. Now we want to outline this text, so we still use this tool. And what we need to do, so you can see the drop shadow has been added. We need to adjust that drop shadow so it's directly behind that text. So this X and Y preset, we've got this link here that links them together and we just zero this. You can see that drop shadow is moving and we need to set this to zero. So we'll just come in and remove that, hit zero, hit enter. Don't try to highlight it because you can't actually highlight that. So just click on it and move your mouse pointer in there and move the cursor using arrow keys and just set that to zero. The link will automatically set those to zero. So that's set to zero. You can see there's a bit of a blur around there. You can actually see that in there. I'm going to bring the opacity up and you can see that blur, what's happened there. So let's just move that aside. So we've got a blur around there and we can set that blur radius to what we want. So I want to zero that blur radius. Now we need to change this grow radius so we can change this grow radius here. Obviously we need a different color so we can see this. So we go beyond zero, that grow radius goes out. So you can see that text is being increased. Let's change the color to something like red. And make sure we move this up. So we've got our current color there. Let's okay that. We can see the stroke there has actually been applied by just using the drop shadow and we can change the grow radius. One thing that you want to do is make sure that the clipping is not set to clip, it's set to adjust. You can see where it's clipped that edge off there. Just set that one to adjust and that will adjust that. You can see that's come out there, that's absolutely fine. We can set the grow radius of what we want. We're just moving this up like so. We've also got the the actual grow shape 
which at the moment is a circle. And we can change that to diamond. And what that does is it changes the chamfering or the filleting around the edges. So if we change this one down to square, we have this squared off the sides here. And what I need to do is come in and we can see that at work. And you can see those square edges there. Just control Z that and add that again. Filters, light and shadow, drop shadow, and set these to zero. Our blur radius zero, the opacity right up, and the row radius. Let's bring this up and change the color again. There we go. You can see we've got that outlined there. And if you look at the grow shape, this square, you can see it's squared off. And circle, you can see those edges have been circled. And of course, the last one is the diamond. You can see we've got this chamfer here, like so. We've got the split view there, so we can see what it looks like before and after. But there's a very simple way of changing that. We've got other options here, which I don't often use, but that is the most simplest way of creating a outline to your text using GIMP. I hope that's helped and I hope to see you again soon. If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe to my site. And also I have a Ko-Fi site where you can actually donate a few pence or a few pounds, dollars, or whatever your currency is. And that's at ko-fi.com slash mang0. And there you'll be able to help me fund my site and all the money that I actually get from any funds will actually get pushed back into the channel. Thanks a lot for watching and subscribing. I'll see you next time.